welcome. Today we're going to do the water and rocks today. There's a lot to do, so let's go ahead and get started. What I have on my palette is some white, some burnt sienna, some burnt umber, and some black. I mixed the black and the burnt umber together. And I'm going to use, obviously, the knife to go up, and we're going to go ahead and put the, the rocks in. So I'm going to start up here with the base of this tree and just slowly bring this down like that. And with the alkids, they go on a little thinner than oils. If you've painted with oils before and used the knife, you'll be able to tell the difference right away. So it's just a little bit different technique using the the alkids. Well, I'm just going to take a minute and go ahead and put the rocks in. Then after I get them all put in, then we'll go in and put in where the water should be. Now I'm going to take a brush and just go on the left side, just drag the rocks over this way a little bit, and I just kind of take my brown and black mixture, just tapping the tapping this mixture into my black and green. And what that does is that gives the effect of a little land under the trees. So that way when we put the rock textures in, it just flows right up into the, the tree area. So we'll just take a minute and just do that. Now we're going to put the water in. I've got a little ultramarine blue on my palette. And I'm going to use the same brush that I used with the black and the brown. And just mix the blue with it. Because in your picture you'll see that it's just not all blue. There's shades of brown and black in it. So let's go right up here. Just start putting it in. And if it's a little blue, just add a little bit of brown. Just tone it down a little bit. So we'll just take this mixture and put that in. As you're putting this color in the, the water area, you'll see the different shades of blue and black and brown all mixed together. Just mix it around, go around the rocks. Because all we're looking right here is just background colors. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I've got all kind of different shades of blue and black and brown all mixed into the area where the water is. Now once I got the water put together, I just slowly take my brush and drag it back and forth like that. Just little strokes like that. And it's, it's probably been about 15 or 20 minutes since it's been on there and you can already feel it's starting to get a little bit tacky. That's about all the time I have for today. 
Next time we'll put the highlights on the rocks and the water. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.